Hi, this is Dan Johnston from TechItHelp.com, and I've been getting some questions on how I get the spinning earth that you just saw at the beginning and end of my videos. Now, I usually don't put it because it seems to me that people don't want an intro, they just want to get straight to the content. But a lot, but since a lot of people are asking, you know, and it can still be good for videos with friends and maybe other videos not on YouTube, any videos on YouTube, you can still include it and it's pretty cool. So let me show you how to do it. So first, you need to have iMovie 11. In any other version of iMovie, it's, it, you know, any earlier version, I don't know about the later versions yet, of course, but any earlier version, it's not going to work. So. First, you, you, you click the plus button. And so now, usually people would choose a project theme. So one of these different themes. But what you need to do is go to movie trailer. You can choose any of them, it doesn't, it really just doesn't matter. Okay, so now you, you go down to studio and then you click on studio name, so. For example, I might put Tech Kid Help Films. You know, maybe some space in between them. Something like that. And so you can choose a bunch of different things though as well. You don't have to just choose the spinning earth. There are some other cool intros as well. So you can also choose um, well, there's a black background, but I'm not too impressed with that. Um, but you can choose sun rays through clouds. So what? So let me show you what all these are like. Sun rays through clouds. So snowy mountain peak. Long pyramid. Signals across the globe. Okay, so you can see they're all pretty good, but you might be wondering how this does anything because this is a movie preview not normally a video but all you need to do is go fi is click file and click convert to project and now it's the regular project and let me just go back um, to change it back to the spinning earth in space so you go to file convert to project so then all you need to do is just delete all this other stuff that, that would normally be in the Murphy preview some people might do that, might put that at the beginning, but that's a mistake to put it all, at, at least, I mean, if it's like the first video in a series, maybe you can have something like that, but certainly not for a minute, maybe 15 seconds. If you have it for a minute, everyone's going to leave before you do it. it it's, it it's just not wise, um, but you can do it for 15 seconds, maybe, but I wouldn't recommend it. So. So here, and so then you just need to copy and paste it, and at the end of the video as well. And the transitions, these things, they they're not going to be able to carry over. In fact, one of them will probably be deleted, perhaps. But I I haven't found a way around that. If anyone has a way around that, I'd love to hear. But I haven't really seen. Uh, any way to get around that, but you know the transitions are, uh, aren't really noticeable, so it's not that big of a deal. So that's how you add the spinning earth, the sun through clouds, whatever, any of them, to the beginning and or the end of your video. So check my website, TakeItOut.com. See you there. Bye. Hi. There's something I forgot to mention during the video, and that's that. Probably the audio is going to be too loud. Now you can see here that uh, that that the volume here is obviously a lot higher than on the rest of the video for for the for the globe 
effect. And so, how do you see that though? What you do, you see this 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 button here, show or hide audio waveforms. So that's probably going to be unclicked. You need to click that, and then it's going to show that. So now, in order to change it, you just click this gear, and then go to audio adjustments, and you can change it now. It, it'll be set at 100%, but I found that 20% works best, but it all depends on how loud you want your video to be. It could be, for you, it could be 50%, it could be 30%, uh, whatever it is. Um, but I found that 20% works best for me. But, um, but to give you an example of how loud it sounds, let, let me show you this compared to the regular video. <laughs> So huge difference. So you probably want it to be about the same, maybe a little louder, but I mean, of course you don't want it to be too loud though. That's obviously 100%, at least I think is way too loud. Um, I'd recommend putting it at, um, you, at probably 35% or below, but you need to do your own testing and see what, what you want. There's no um, exact figure that that's that's the exact right one it would it depends how loud you want it so now you can see hi this Dan Johnson. so they're about the same uh, same noise so so make sure to to to, to change that or, or otherwise um, uh, your video is not going to uh, the the intro is going to hinder the quality of your video greatly, and and that's really going to be um, not very good. So again, check my website, techitout.com. See you there. Bye.